Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session of lesson 1 Democracy what and why. Today we will study about the features of democracy. We have started with a simple definition that democracy is a form of government in which the rulers are elected by the people. This raises many questions. Let's look at what these questions are. Who are the rulers in this definition? Which official must be elected for any government to be called a democracy? Which decision may be taken by non-elected officials in a democracy? What kind of election constitute a democratic election? What condition must be fulfilled for an election to be considered democratic? Who are the people who can elect the rulers or get elected as rulers? Should this include every citizen on an equal basis? Can a democracy deny some citizens this right? Finally, what kind of a form of government is democracy? Can elected rulers do whatever they want in a democracy? Or must a democratic government function with some limits. It is necessary for a democracy to respect some rights of the citizens. Let us consider each of these questions with the help of some example. First, we will look at the major decisions by elected leaders. In a democratic government, the major decisions are taken by the leaders who are elected by the people of that country. These elected leaders represents the whole country so in this way the need of all people are satisfied some countries like pakistan do not follow this rule in pakistan general praveez musharraf led a military cop in october 1999 he overthrew the democratically elected government and went on to become the president of the country in 2002 he was held a referendum in the country that granted him a five-year extension. Meanwhile, after passing off this legal framework order, elections were held to the national and provincial assemblies and elected representatives were granted some powers. But the final power rested with military officers and General Pravesh Musharraf himself. Hence, we can conclude it was not a democratic country. The same thing happens in many dictatorships and monarchies. Thus, we can conclude that in a democracy, the final decision-making power must rest within those elected by the people. Students will continue this lesson in my next video. Thanks for watching.